Welcome back to the Show Me Center in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Moorhead State wins its first OVC game of the year, knocking off Southeast Missouri State 70 to 57. I'm Chuck Moraz now with Moorhead State coach Sean Woods. Sean playing without Angelo Warner, Lionel Gaines, and Markel Willis tonight. What a gutty good effort by your team. I'll tell you what, it, our pre our pregame meal wasn't pretty, Chuck. And I really went after our guys. Uh, like I've never done before. And uh, they responded. You know, we had our backs against the wall. Uh, looking down that bench was like looking down Elm Street. But, uh, you know, Karam Ashur came in and gave us a double-double, great minutes. Billy Reeder uh, did good. Uh, Corbin Collins was solid. But, you know, I thought Kareem's story really willed this team to win. Just he made all the right plays at the right time. And uh, Brent Arrington, you know, Got to cut down the turnovers. Five turnovers is way, way too many, and that's his MO, and we got to cut that down. Uh, but besides that, it was a gutty win. I'm proud of our guys uh, responding uh, under adversity, and uh, hopefully this, this is going to be a, you know, a start of something to come. Well, you mentioned Kareem's story. One thing that he really did tonight was try to get that ball in and, and drive the ball as much as possible and create. Well, he did, and, uh, you know, he did a good job of it. And I told him, you know, he, I challenged him, I mean, like no other. And I said, it, it, it's either now or it's never. Uh, and he responded, and uh, hopefully he can continue to do it. But I've been in him so so much here lately because he's got to be the guy who's the most solid person on the team. He's got to be the one who makes us go. And I thought he made some good plays tonight. Karam Ashur, as you talked about, a double-double tonight, 15 points, 13 rebounds, his second straight good game. I thought he played well against Murray State. And the one thing I'm noticing about Karam, maybe that I did not see earlier this season, he's become a lot more aggressive. Boy, he is. You know, he's still got to continue to do some things. He continues to tiptoe a little bit. But, you know, I challenged him. I challenged everybody, you know, and uh, – we did what we needed to do to get a road win against a really good OVC basketball team. And uh, we just got to continue to fight at, with, at, 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 with that tenacious, at, uh, I don't even know the word for it because I'm so just tied up right Grit. now. Grit and just, you know, with a will to win. We haven't had that. And today we had a will to win. And to give credit where credit is due, Billy Reeder, 37 minutes, I know that's a lot more minutes than you'd like to play him in, but he came up with his own double-double at 12 points and 11 boards. Yeah, and I'm still critical. I'm, I'm going to be critical until we win the championship. So, you know, he's still missing too many bunnies. I thought he should have had at least 20 points tonight just off missed layups. He's got to continue to, to, to finish those inside. we got to be able to finish more layups and become more offensively efficient. And, but our defense was really, really good today. I thought our defense was solid as a rock, and that, that was the real key to the game. You're really good inside, too, on the glass. You out-rebound Simo 44 to 35, and they only had eight offensive rebounds. Well, that was just hustle and toughness and a will to win. And rebound is just hustle and toughness, like I said before, and uh, that's what we had today. We knew we had to do that in order for us to have a chance. We got to do that every single night until we become better and more efficient from an offensive standpoint. We've talked about, and this has been a problem that's plagued your team all season long, slow starts, but... In this ball game, you jump out on top of Simo eight to two, and that probably had to be a lift for a shorthanded ball club. No doubt about it, and that's probably the quickest we scored twelve points all year. We scored twelve in like three minutes, four minutes, or something like that. But to score eight points back to back to back to back, you no, know, that that lets you know that we're we're concentrating now. You know, we're we're, we're taking advantage and. Of, of opportunities. We're getting the ball where we need to get it. We're just not putting it in the basket. And I thought we did today, and I thought we, the extra effort was there today. And we got to continue to have that throughout. I thought the half-court offense today was as good as I've seen it all season. Well, because Kareem's story got us in our stuff. You know, when your point guard's playing well, then your offense is, is running well. And I thought he was the main reason for that. Next up, UT Martin coming up on Saturday. A chance to come away with two straight road victories, and that's something that's difficult to do in the OVC. Well, it is, and uh, we just got to you know, continue to tighten up our bootstraps and continue to go out and, and produce from an energy and effort standpoint and continue to get better from an efficiency standpoint on offense. We know that Lionel Gaines will not be back for several weeks, and, and hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. Uh, Angela Warner with the back spasms had to sit out tonight. Markel Willis with a twisted knee had to sit out. Any chance those two guys will be available this weekend? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Um, you know, we got a couple of days to rest and 
Dave's going to work on both of them, and hopefully we can have both of them uh, on Saturday. All right. Well, congratulations, Coach, on a real good win here tonight at Southeast Missouri State. Thank you, Chuck. Moorhead State wins it once again 70-57 to at Southeast Missouri State. I'm Chuck Moraz, listening to my interview with Coach Woods, and we'll come back with more from side court and name our Papa John's player of the game in just a moment here on the Eagle Sports